Hello and welcome back to How to Build Software Without Coding. I'm Mr. Hackathon. I show you how to build software without coding. And in today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to do text chunking using automation tool, Make. To give you some context on why we're doing this and what text chunking even is, in a previous tutorial, I did a walkthrough of the Pinecone console. Much of my recent content has been around AI and AI in no code. And the Pinecone console is a, or Pinecone is a vector database that makes it really easy to build recommendation engines using AI or search similarity tools using AI and these kind of things where you're comparing an input or query to the database using AI. In that tutorial, I talk about more the details of Pinecone as a vector database. But to even get to this point, what you actually have to do is to use open AI embeddings and give text documents or part of text documents a score. Now, I know that might be a little bit overwhelming, so let me break it down. What this does right here is it stores text as numerical values. And if you send a query that is translated into a numerical value and all the database does is compare the query or the context of the query as a numerical value to what's being stored in a vector database as a numerical value. And it will bring back the most similar results. What Embeddings does is actually create that numerical value. So if you ask a question, I try to think uh, about a question. If you ask a, a question, what are things to do in London, say, for example, the embedding is the way to add that numerical value to the query, but it also adds the numer numerical value to any document you're using to get the answer from. So maybe I'm getting the answer from a website, a tourism website from the UK government. And I've stored all their documents that they have on London and the best things to do in my vector database as numerical values. The embedding is what allows me to store this as numerical, numerical values. Now we're getting to the whole point of this particular tutorial. When you're creating embeddings, there is a limit in that it has a token limit. With many cloud APIs, there's a limit on the amount of data you can send and the amount of data you can receive. And this is especially relevant to embeddings. And so what you typically have to do is break down a large body of text into smaller chunks, which is called text chunking. So you can actually create the embeddings from it. So I couldn't send an entire novel uh, through uh, to open AI to create an embedding from it, I have to break the novel, the Harry Potter novel or the Shakespeare, Shakespeare um, poem or the Shakespeare, really it would be a poem, but the Shakespeare play, I have to break that down into chunks. And that is a part of text pre-processing. And the way we're going to do this is using a tool called make. So I have something here. I am storing all my data in a spreadsheet. Here I've hard coded the input. So I've hard coded the name uh, 48 laws of power and the content. And this is the text just to show you, it might be a little bit easier. So I have the text here. So you might put the entire document here as text value. And I just hard coded this, but you can, trigger the automation from a Google Drive or for something that arrives in a spreadsheet or from anywhere else. The basic, the trigger is probably not the biggest part, but what is the biggest part is this text parser. So I'm using the text parser component. I'll show you how to get that right here. We have text parser and I'm using match pattern advanced. And when we click on that, we're gonna check global global match. So it's going to find all the potential matches. And what I have here is a regular expression that breaks the text up into periods. So hopefully this makes it a little bit more sense as I show you. 
as we can see here, we have a sentence about power. And here is our first period. And what it's going to do is going to take this first part and break that out into a substring. What it then does, oh, here we have also mapped the text, obviously. What, the, what it then does is I've connected it to my Google Sheets here. And what I'm storing is the name of the text, but also the body, the value from that is, that's been passed from the text. When we run this, it will make a little bit more sense. So I'm going to hit run once. And you can see it's finding several matches, 19. And now I go to my, my database and you can immediately see that it's broken it down into everywhere there is a period. And now what we can do from here is really easily send this to OpenAI to create embeddings. Go ahead, send it to OpenAI to create embeddings. And from creating embeddings, we can send it to Pinecone to store. That is how I'm approaching text chunking in the no-code space. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on social media or, the, or just write in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more AI and no-code content.